I thought that as long as I had this here on the bench, I'd run over a few little details that maybe need clarified. This is a seller's page on AliExpress. It came from Music Valley Store through Alley. Cost about, well, less than $15 a piece. There was no option to have it supplied as a, a DUI. It was uh, pre-made. Now this is the second pre-built JLH 1969 amplifier I had. And it's the first one that came with these factory adjusted and sealed potentiometers. See there's a little compound around these knobs. That tells me that somebody took the time to power this unit up and test it. Adjust these uh, crossover point and current controls and then seal them so they are sort of non-tamperable. Now I could break that seal loose and adjust it, but it does give me a little bit of uh, confidence in this. I have corrected some errors that were on my drawing, changed the date, and of course all this information is in the uh, subdirectory listed below. The heat sink is uh, available on eBay or Alley. It's a very common heat sink. I think it costs around five dollars, but don't trust my memory. It's 150 by 60 by uh, what's it? 25. I mounted these uh, two transistors using a. Uh, mica insulator these transistors are not plastic on the back and they are and they cannot be connected together <laughs> the mica was the only insulator I had that was big enough for this package and I used plenty of heat compound probably used too much but it's relatively cheap and heats our enemy this is just wire management right now this little clip I powered it up at 30 volts A little more than one amp of current using a linear power supply with approximately a volt RMS input that would be here or two volts peak to peak I'm generating 12 volts of output or 26 volts peak to peak now at 26 volts means I'm swinging back up and down within two volts of ground and two volts of the power supply which is plus 30. Now this would be 12 uh, and a half watts RMS. It occurs to me that a sine wave will have less RMS voltage than a square wave or the peak-to-peak -peak voltage of 26.4 I'll change to a sine wave. The peak-to-peak -peak voltage actually went up to 25 but the RMS value went to 9 which equals 10.125 watts. I'll change to a triangle.
Now that's down still 24.8 uh, volts peak to peak, but it's down to 7 volts RMS because there's less area in the uh, triangle as there is compared to, say, the sine wave, which has more area in it. And of course, the square wave has lots of area in it. The, a sine wave at 2 kilohertz. I'll take it down to 50 hertz. So there's a 49 hertz sine wave, 50 hertz sine wave, in and out. I'll take it up to 50 kilohertz. The sine wave is very nice. There's a sine wave at 500 hertz. I have an infrared thermometer. The heat sink in Fahrenheit is around 80. Looking at this terminal, looking at the mounting screw on the three terminal device, it appears to be about 90 Fahrenheit. Over here on the heat sink it's around 75. The center is up to 82, 83. The body of the transistor, the black plastic body, is around 120 Fahrenheit. This one's actually a little hotter at 140. Almost 150. Now I ordered two of these. And I did that for a reason. I wanted to see if I would get left and right handed uh, devices, but I didn't. They're both identical. While I was printing out this page, I found out that Music Valley Store offers yet another 1969 amplifier. And so I went ahead and ordered two of them. So we'll be seeing them in the near future. And I did not order kits. I wanted to see if the other ones came with sealed adjustments. So the next 1969 amplifier I will do is going to be another one from Music Valley Store and it'll probably be a month before it arrives. So I'll see you back then hopefully. Thank you.